There are a lot of reasons I love my Instant Pot, but today I'm sharing with you the number one reason I love my Instant Pot. Hey guys, I'm Kristen from A Mindful Mom, and I get into the kitchen and share with you easy recipes your family will love. And every Sunday, I'm sharing with you a new Instant Pot tip or recipe so that you can fall in love with your Instant Pot just like me. Today, I'm sharing with you my favorite, favorite thing to make in my Instant Pot. It may surprise you, it may sound boring, but it's beans. I love, love, love to make dried beans in my Instant Pot. It's something that I do at least once a week. We eat a lot of beans at our house, and it has saved my family so much money, and making dried beans at home is so much better for you, too. You don't add any preservatives that you often find in cans, and you can control the sodium. And best of all, it's so easy and doesn't require a lot of thinking ahead to make dried beans in your Instant Pot. Dried beans traditionally have to be soaked overnight, which can be hard for people who don't often plan ahead. Guilty as charged. I have the best of intentions, but sometimes my follow through is not very good. And so I don't have to worry about, oh, I want beans tomorrow, so I better soak them overnight. Instead, I can put dried beans right inside my Instant Pot, and in just over an hour, I have tons of beans that I can freeze for later in the use and I can pop in the fridge to use throughout the week. It's a great time saver, it's a great money saver, and it's so easy. So, let me show you exactly how it's done. First, you wanna rinse your dried beans. You wanna do this because beans are stored in bulk and often they have dust or dirt or debris on them. So it's best to just give them a good rinse. Then sort through and see if you see any rocks or broken beans. Once your beans have been rinsed and sorted, add them to the inner pot of your pressure cooker. I'm making two cups of pinto beans today, which is one pound. You can easily make two pounds in a six or eight quart instant pot. To your beans, you wanna add in between six and eight cups of cold water. You wanna make sure that your beans are covered by at least two inches of water. And now we need to season our beans. But there's an important tip here. We're not adding salt to our pressure cooker while the beans are cooking. This is a highly, highly debated topic. And I'm gonna be perfectly honest with you. I started making dried beans in the Instant Pot with no directions when the Instant Pot first came out and I threw salt in with my beans. And sometimes it worked perfectly and sometimes it did not. More often when your beans don't cook in the allotted amount of time, it has to do with their age. They've probably been sitting on the grocery store shelf for years. And so sometimes the older beans take a lot longer to break down and salt can inhibit that. So to make this recipe fail proof, if your beans are old or new, omit the salt. We can add salt after they cook but I still like to flavor my beans. This is optional, but I'm adding in garlic cloves, a half an onion, and a bay leaf. Next, you wanna pop your lid on your Instant Pot. Make sure your vent knob is pointed towards sealed, not venting. Now, to cook our beans, you're gonna set cook time depending on the type of bean you used. You can look below and I give you a list of all the different cook times for the different types of beans. So this recipe can be used for any type of bean that you like. And instead of hitting beans on your Instant Pot functions, you wanna hit manual or pressure cook and adjust the time yourself. I'm cooking pinto beans and pinto beans need 25 minutes on high pressure. To set cook time, hit manual or pressure cook and use the plus or minus buttons to adjust the cook time to 25. Once cook time has elapsed, let pressure release naturally. This is super, super, super important if you want tender beans. It will take a little bit of time, but it's still so much faster than soaking your beans overnight. So be patient. 
Give your Instant Pot 15 to 20 minutes to release pressure on its own. And once you do, open up your Instant Pot and you can see that you have tender beans. You can drain off some of the cooking liquid that's inside your Instant Pot if you like. I find that storing the beans with the cooking liquid keeps them moist for a lot longer in the refrigerator. I even freeze the beans with some of the cooking liquid, so I just leave it in there. And now it's time to season. You can adjust the salt to your taste, and keep in mind that you may wanna go less on the salt, and you can flavor up your beans in recipes that you use them in. But I'm gonna add in just about a teaspoon and a half of salt right now. And then I also like to add in a splash of apple cider vinegar. Totally optional, but I feel that it helps keep the beans, their texture, and it's been known to help with digestion. I don't know if that's a wife's tale or not, but hey, it doesn't hurt. That's it, that's all there is to making Instant Pot beans. They're perfect to use in my recipes like Instant Pot chili, Instant Pot minestrone, or just to make some tacos using your beans. However you choose to use them, it's a game changer. You can store them in your fridge for up to five days, or you can freeze your beans for up to three months in your freezer and pull them out and use as needed. You guys, this recipe is awesome. It will save you money, it will save you time, and it will make you fall in love with your Instant Pot. Until next time, happy cooking.